Hey there guys, Tom here. Welcome back to my movie channel and thank you very much for joining me for this, my review of the brand new film Godzilla vs Kong Dawn of Justice. If you guys haven't been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you never miss out on my take on all things movies. So Godzilla vs Kong, this is a movie that I have been looking forward to, but I did have some mixed feelings about it going in because I enjoyed Skull Island quite a bit and Godzilla King of the Monsters really disappointed me. So I was really hoping that at least Godzilla vs. Kong would deliver on the promise of its title and of its trailer. And safe to say, it did. But my main concern was it having the same, you know, shortcomings and problems that Godzilla vs. Uh, that Godzilla King of the Monsters did. Godzilla King of the Monsters, its biggest issue was its human characters. None of the characters in that movie mattered. I didn't care about any of them. None of them were interesting. And in Godzilla vs. Kong, safe to say, it's improved, they're better, but they're still not great. Now look, I don't go into these movies expecting the level of character development and depth that you would out of some Oscar bait type movie. But in Godzilla King of the Monsters, the characters weren't interesting. They were all just there to give science talk and a lot of exposition. And you didn't care about any of them. And in Godzilla vs Kong, the human characters are better. I just don't understand what the problem is with these movies. Why can't they get this balance right. I don't understand how none of them seem to get the balance right. You look at a movie like Bumblebee, where you have Haley Steinfeld playing this character, and then you have her interacting with a giant CGI robot. And yet they still found a way to make the Haley Steinfeld character interesting. And they made it a good, well-rounded character, as well as, you know, having the focus be on Bumblebee and, and the CGI Transformers. And yet you have something like Godzilla King of the Monsters where it seems to be an either or scenario where they're like, well, we can't do Godzilla right without making all the human characters suffer, you know, in the process. And it's like, no, you can do both. And Godzilla vs. Kong does it better. And the main reason it does it better is because I think you have better director in the chair. I think you have... Uh, better actors, and I think they've just found a better way of doing it. In Godzilla vs. Kong, there are a lot of exposition scenes. There is a lot of science talk. But for the most part, they deliver that in a comedic way, where you have someone like a Brian Tyree Henry, or a Julian Dennison, or a Millie Bobby Brown, giving whatever exposition has to be given, and they play it either for comedy, or they play it in a, in a moment, in a scene, that's full of high tension, and then they're trying to work out how to stop Godzilla from blowing up that boat, or they're trying to shut a certain computer down, and they and they do it in the and they put it in these scenes and deliver it in a way that it's interesting, and you don't just stop the entire movie to deliver a science monologue like in Godzilla vs Kong, where the mother character literally sits there for a minute and a half and gives a PowerPoint presentation. The one emotional core of this movie is the little girl. You've seen it in the trailers, it's also, you know, it, it's, it's in the trailer that there's this little girl and she can communicate with Kong via sign language. And that was done really effectively. It really is the emotional core of the movie. And they did this really interesting technique with it where you have Kong sitting on the boat and he's chained up and he's really upset about being trapped on this boat with these people. And this little girl who he has a connection with walks straight out right up to him and then the sound completely drops out and then they communicate via sign language. And then once they're stopped having their conversation, the sound comes back up. I thought that was a really interesting way to immerse the audience in that moment and in that conversation. And it really did bring a lot of focus to the connection between those two. You really did feel that these two do have a connection. And it is, like I said, the emotional core of the movie. And it was a level of emotion that I wasn't expecting out of a movie called Godzilla vs Kong. So that was a very pleasant surprise to me. Now let's talk about the action. The fight between Godzilla vs Kong is really fucking awesome. They deliver on that promise. And they fight multiple times throughout the movie and that was something that I really did enjoy as well because unlike something like Batman vs Superman where that's a three hour movie and they only fight for eight minutes, that was a bit of a letdown. Godzilla vs Kong, it is Godzilla vs Kong. They fight a lot. And it's really cool. And I love the way that they chose to have, you know, Godzilla and Kong both use their strengths to their advantages. And so when they fight, they use certain fighting techniques that they would. Like Godzilla, you know, really utilizes his tail. 
Kong really use, utilizes the fact that he has opposable thumbs. And Kong also has this awesome looking like axe that looks like Stormbreaker from Avengers Infinity War. And so it, it really is a great fight. And I really could sum up this movie with one word and that word is loud. This movie's incredibly loud, but it's also really fun. And I really enjoyed Godzilla vs. Kong. And uh, listen, if this is the last movie in this franchise, and I think it might be because Godzilla King of the Monsters didn't do so well at the box office, and with this coming out on streaming at the same time as it's in theaters, I don't know how this is going to do financially either. If this is the last one in this monster franchise from Warner Brothers, then they've left it on a high note. Godzilla vs. Kong delivers. It delivers on the promise. It does what it said it was going to do. And I really enjoyed Godzilla vs. Kong. So I want to know in the comment section below, what did you think of Godzilla vs. Kong? Have you seen it yet? I'm aware it's not out in the US, but when you see it, make sure you come back and leave me a comment and tell me what you thought of the movie. Thank you very much for watching, guys. My name is Tom, and I will see you guys next time.